previous soundbite, we established that interval names all have two parts, a quality part and a number part. And we established that the number part is always determined by the inclusive distance between letter names on the musical alphabet. Now to launch into our explanation of the quality part of interval names, we should start with a bit of physics. Now most of us have noticed that there's something special about the 12th fret on the guitar, the one with the double dots. It's the octave fret. The point at which the fretboard effectively starts again. Any pattern played here can be repeated up here exactly an octave higher. But have you ever stopped to wonder why exactly this point on the fretboard produces the octave sound? Or indeed, have you ever asked what exactly is an octave? Well, the two answers are connected. If my guitar is tuned to standard pitch, then when I strike this fifth string open, it vibrates at exactly 110 times per second, or we say 110 hertz. And that sound is interpreted by my brain as a note having the pitch A. Now, I wonder if you've ever done this. Take a tape measure and measure the length of the vibrating string. So that's from the bridge to the nut of the guitar. And on my guitar, I make that 65 centimetres. Now, let's measure the distance from the bridge to the 12th fret. This comes out at 32.5 centimetres, exactly half the distance of the vibrating length of the open string. So when I play the open A and then fret it at the 12th fret, I'm halving the length of vibrating string. And according to something called Merson's Law, this halving of the length of the string causes a doubling of the frequency of vibration. So this note A is produced by a string vibrating at 110 times per second, but when I stop it at the 12th fret, the string is vibrating at 220 times per second. And our ear hears this doubling of vibration as an octave, a note that's sort of the same pitch but higher. So the octave has a very obvious open consonance. We hear the relationship between these two sounds as fitting very neatly together. If we now perform a measurement from fret 7 to the nut of the guitar, we get a distance of 21.6 centimetres. This is exactly one third the distance of the vibrating length of the open string which, if you remember, is 65 centimetres. And I want you to notice that at the 7th fret we find the 5th note in the key of the open string note name. So here we are on the A string, 7th fret we get E, which is the 5th in the key of A. Finally, let's measure the distance from the 5th fret to the nut. 16.25 centimetres, exactly one quarter of the open string distance. Notice that on our sample A string, this is the distance between the note A and D, four steps up the musical alphabet. So, to summarise, there's a very specific ratio between the frequencies of the 4th, 5th and 8th notes in the major scale. And because of the mathematical simplicity of these ratios, 
We hear these intervals as sounding particularly consonant or pleasing to the ear. And that is my brief description of why the intervals unison, fourth, fifth and octave are all referred to as perfect. In the next soundbite we'll move on to discuss the other qualities of intervals. Major, minor, augmented and diminished. If you found this little lesson interesting please click on the like button if there is one or leave a short comment. And do feel free to share the video with your friends. And if you'd like to gain full access to all our guitar teaching materials, please visit the Secret Guitar Teacher site and take a free look round at what's available there. See you again soon.